I don't want to look at much production back again. Today I have a review on uh, a model I got for Christmas. This is the Hornby Thomas and Friends breakdown train. But before I move on to it, uh, I'm going to take a look at the box. Yeah. Alright, so let me just move them out of the way. Alright, so here's the box. Very, very large. This is the more rare break breakdown crane. It's one that's like more accurate. I like it better than like the newish one, or uh, the one from a few years back, or it's like light brown. I was like yellow. I don't like it as much as this one. It doesn't look as accurate. But anyway, it's a very large box. And I'll just go. I'll move the camera up, so so I can uh, get it all in shot. Hold on. All right. So. We look here, it says Thomas and Friends, and it shows a picture of Thomas with like a bush there, and it says Hit Entertainment, and you have little pictures of characters at the bottom, which has Henry, James, Mavis, Percy, Thomas, Clutterbell, Edward, oh, sorry, Edward, Gordon, Henry, and James, and it's funny because they didn't even release Mavis, I don't know why they put Mavis on there, and, uh, you see the packaging said these little brown bits floating around? A little pieces I would attach right here to keep the breakdown crane stable, although I obviously don't need that at the time because I'm not actually using the crane. There is that's Annie and uh Thompson Friends sign there. Got a Thompson Friends there and that's Gordon. Thompson Friends. And underneath is the name is Breakdown Crane R nine two one six. Hornby Hornby is a registered trademark of Hornby Hobbies Limited and their address and everything. Hornby.com, ThompsonFriends.com. Alright, uh, let's look, let's have a look at the back of the box. As you can see it says, Thomas and Friends Accessory Range for Use with Electric Train Sets. Thomas and Friends, right there. And uh, you have Thomas the Tank Engine, Oliver, Stepney, Toby and Three Wagons, Percy and Two Shovels from Trucks, uh, XGWR Brake Van, Toad, Diesel, D7101, or Bear, the Flying Scotsman. These three are quite rare right here. I like Oliver and the Flying Scotsman. They're pretty, pretty cool. Got a brake van, ice cream van, circus cattle van, raspberry syrup tanker, scrap wagon, circus, three circus vans, Golden's brake coach, uh, birdie the bus, circus flatbed, old soul coach, and uh, no circus flatbed. I hope to get uh, those four. The raspberry syrup tanker, soda scrap wagon, ice cream van, and the brake van. Pretty cool. So that was the box. Uh, I'm gonna see if there's a date on this really quick, cause I didn't bother checking earlier. But it looks like it doesn't. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, hold on. Date is 2005. Galen Thomas Limited. So this is made back 2005. So I'll just lower the camera again. Oh, I'm still gonna keep it pretty high, I think, because, uh, well, a little bit higher than usual, because, uh, the breakdown crane's quite tall. So, I wanna get them all and wanna get him completely in shot. That should be good, I think. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Well, we have it on a swivel now. Give me a second. Sorry guys, I had to let my dog out of the room. Anyway, let's have a look at the uh, the breakdown train. So there's four different parts to the breakdown train, or the breakdown crane. There is the front flatbed part, which is where the crane arm rests on. You got these two uh, trolleys, wagons, uh, front and rear, and the actual crane unit. But uh, before we look on here, I'm just going to give you a quick history of the breakdown crane itself. Basically, the breakdown crane was um, introduced in the episode Thomas and the Breakdown Crane. Yeah, or Breakdown Train, sorry. You can call it either one. Breakdown Crane or Breakdown Train. Hornby calls it the Breakdown Crane. Although I call it the Breakdown Train, so it doesn't really matter. Thomas and the Breakdown Train. And it was uh, uh, used ever since. And basically, what they're for is if an engine or a truck comes off the track, they can put it back on the rails. So let's get on to the review. I think I'll have a look at the uh, 
put out the main unit first. Sorry, I'm not that. I'm gonna take off these extra bits. This guy on the track derails sometimes and make him go too fast just because he has so many wheels. Alright, let me raise the crane arm really quick. I'll show you how this function works in just a second. But uh, let's have a look at the crane. So it's painted in like a brownish, blackish color. It looks quite a bit browner on camera than it actually is. It's a bit black, blacker than this. Yet it has, it's kind of hard to tell again with the lighting, but it's like a slight weathering going on at the bottom. It's, you can tell on the couplings. Oh, the couplings are a uh, lighter shade. It's weathered down here. It's pretty hard to tell actually on this light, but it is. You also have uh, wheels. Well, they're like valve wheels there. You have these sort of couplings which couple to the little trolley wagons. And then this crane can make a 360. Yeah, uh, it has a little detail there. The camera can't pick it up. It's so small. It says 10, 30, 50. They're just a bunch of measurements. Uh, the degree of the angle that the crane arm goes on. Here you have these two knobs here. Which I'll show you what they do in just a second. It has... It's hard to pick this, put this guy upside down. Four sets of wheels. Unfortunately, they're plastic. But, uh... That's right. They move side to side, so you know if they want to go around a curve, you do that. I don't know why they're plastic. Uh, I'll try to put metal wheels on if I have enough. Let's see if that changes the how it performs. Yeah, yeah, it turns around like that. Very cool. I like the crane. Very heavy. It has a gold chain, and you have the hook. So I'll show you what these knobs do. This first knob. Well, this back knob, actually, I'll do the back one first. Raises and lowers the actual crane arm, so that's lowering it, and you can raise it. Yeah, I'll raise the camera for this. It's going to be probably hard to see. Sorry. All right, so you can raise and lower the crane arm. So if I can... It's pulling on the chain, so I can raise it. You can see, and uh, the one in front moves the actual chain. As you can see, so if you move it far back enough, it'll pull it up, and then you can actually move this backwards, which will make the chain go down. And if you want it to come back up, pull in the opposite direction, and the hook goes back up, and you can raise it. I mean, and you can lower it down again. Like that. I think I'll lower it a little bit more. So it can sit on the flatbed nicely. Yeah, so that's the function of the crane. So there's the actual breakdown crane itself. And I, I would demonstrate that it would that it works with uh, wagons. But, uh, I mean, I could. But that would probably take too much time. Although soon I'll probably have an episode of featuring the breakdown crane. Rescuing an engine or something. So you can see that. I have done it before. You... If you put the time into it, you can actually pick up locos and rolling stock. I would recommend only small wagons so you don't actually break the uh, uh, chains or anything. All right, next up is the flatbed, which the crane arm rests on. It's like the little holder holds the crane arm. Uh, I think you can see it a bit better on this wagon. It's weathered a bit more, like down here. Than, yeah, you might be able to see that better. I'm not too sure. Uh, it has metal wheels. Sorry, I keep hitting the stand. Metal wheels here. And they're weathered. Too. Very nice. Uh, tone of weathering says made in China. I want to be there. And uh, you can see the hooks. And the wheels spin very nicely on this. You have yellow detail where the axles go through. And you have the, uh, actual chassis detail. And wood. There is actually texture 
which probably isn't showing up, probably just looks like a bunch of lines, but there is actually wood texture, which isn't half bad, it's pretty good. Yeah, so there's that flatbed. I believe, I don't know, these two trolley wagons, I believe, are the same. I don't still look at them. They're really heavy. They're almost as heavy as this guy is. I don't know why. Probably just, oh, that's why there's their weights in it to make it heavier. Although, even at that, these things still derail a lot. But, anyway, you have a ladder going up and uh, two little yellow dots on either wheel set. The same with this one. You can see where the weight screwed on down there. It's, it's weathered on the wheels, too. All This is all weathered, uh, like, near the bottom going up. It's really cool. You have these circular parts, which is where the hook goes in here on the boat on train. Although, if you actually want to, you can hook them together for whatever reason. Yeah. And I'll show you what it looks like all together, like I did at the beginning of the video. How you put it together is you keep this wagon down, because these are pins. Put this wagon in front, and you pin this part down. Then you pin that part down at the same time, so it's all connected as one. Put up the crane arm here, and uh, you can rest it back down. Let me loosen up this front chain really quick because the hook is pretty tight. All right, there we go. All right, so that's the Hornby Thomas. The product code here is R nine two one six. The breakdown crane. I want to be for their Thomas in front of the range. Like and subscribe, Lucky Mushroom Production siding out, and uh, tell me what you think of this breakdown train. It's pretty cool. And see you all later. Bye. Oh, and Merry Christmas.